Wrong. Hello there. Hello, everyone. I don't know what happened there. We were having <laughs> some technical challenge, but good to see you. And it's Bright River Chapel, an online gathering from Annick. And Welcome. It's <laughs> Bob and Mary. And it's Sunday, the 23rd of May, Pentecost Sunday, when we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said that it was better they went away. Would you believe that? Jesus actually said it was better he went away so that the Holy Spirit might come mm. and live inside of us. And of course, mm. that means the spirit of Jesus is in us. Mm. And so right across the world, um, the spirit of Jesus is in the body of Jesus Christ. Isn't yeah. that lovely? Uniting us. Yeah. We have the same spirit. An organic connection. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So um, do you want to pray, darling? And we'll, yeah. we'll, get, we'll do some worship the next half hour, th yeah. 35, 40 minutes. Oh. We're going to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, we just thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are here and that we can meet with you today. And uh, we want to come into your presence, giving ourselves to you because you are worthy of our worship. And you're worthy of our mm. thanks. You're worthy of our praise. <laughs> and so we, we come today giving our hearts to you. And just pray that, that everyone listening will come into your presence and hear from you today. Mm. And know the joy and the peace and the love of your spirit, of your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, earlier we joined. Jonathan Olieddy and uh, friends on a huge virtual Pentecost platform um, that they were uh, broadcasting from. And uh, so pleased that so they great. right across the nations of the British Isles um, and the island of Ireland, you know, it's just been so wonderful to have, know there's prayer been going up. And uh, in our local area in Annick, we've had a 24 hour uh, time of prayer um, each taking a, an hour through the night and into the next day mm. um, on Friday and Saturday mm. and um, really felt the power of that as the Lord yeah. uh, starts to energize, mobilize his people to pray for the things that are on his heart. For mm. uh, And it's the same for your neighborhood. If you um, uh, have heard the voice of the Spirit stirring you to pray, then it's time to, to do just that and to pray yeah. for your neighborhood. We're going to sing All Who Are Thirsty, um, All Who Are Weak, Come <clears throat> to the Fountain. Yes. All who are thirsty, all who are weak, come to the fountain. Dip your heart in the stream of life. Let the pain and the sorrow be washed away in the ways of his mercy. As deep cries out to deep, we sing, come Lord Jesus, come. Dip your heart in the stream of life. Let the pain and the sorrow be washed away in the ways of his mercy. As deep cries out to
Thank you, Lord. Well, Mary reminded us of a, a song earlier that's a very old one, but it's a lovely prayer. River, wash over me. wanted to share something oh, right. from yesterday. Uh, yesterday, what did you do yesterday yeah yesterday we had a prayer day in our garden we had about 15 people and uh, we we were thinking on the theme of walking in the spirit and so we had some reflection times and um, some time going around the garden sitting in different places and allowing God to speak to us in the silence in the it wasn't completely silent in the in the quiet and in the fresh air. It what it we prayed about it because it rained constantly on Thursday and Friday and Wednesday afternoon. And yeah, we wondered. Well, we we were <coughs> asked people to pray for good weather on <coughs> Saturday, and uh, we stepped out in faith, and there was no rain at all on Saturday, mm. and the sun came out some of the time. It wasn't too cold. It was a bit. A little cold at times but we all had wrapped up so Yay. but one thing I wanted to share which um relates to the songs we've just been singing about uh, the Holy Spirit and are you thirsty for his presence so um in the afternoon I'm sure well I'll show you this picture in the afternoon we use pictures to allow God to speak to us and uh, we could each choose a picture out of six pictures and this was the picture I chose. And I just loved this picture. Um, I hope you can see it well. Uh, it was, it's like a forest. I love walking in the woods and, and I really get excited when the sun comes through in this way with the rays <laughs> or beams of light pour, falling down. And um, <clears throat> when I saw this picture, I thought, oh, that's it. You know, that's the one for me. And um, 
I felt God say various things through the picture. And then we shared in groups of three and we gave words to one another for, for our pictures. And um, I, this morning I was still wanted to think about this and God gave me some words, which I wrote as a poem, because one of the things that, that God spoke to me was about lingering in his presence and you know just being willing just to stay there in his presence so if you could just hold that i'll i'll read the poem <laughs> so so i called it linger in my presence so this is god speaking to me my light and my glory are pouring down upon you my beloved come feel the warmth of my grace falling down. The way ahead is clear and easy to see. I want you to recognise that it is my glory that clears the way for you. My glory and my grace that bring hope for the future. In the middle of the tangle of trees, there is a clear highway. You can just see the road there at the bottom. There's a clear highway for you to walk on a clearing created by me. This is my place of rest. Enter in and linger here. Linger longer than normal. This rest is eternal. My presence is shining all around. There is no time pressure in my rest. When you have drunk your fill, then walk forward. My sustaining, delightful grace will continue unabated as we walk on further and deeper into my glory, where hope is sure and forever. And I just had that sense of, um, well, that eternal sense of God is there, you know, walking on with him and that the future is bright, and that, that his hope is sure and eternal. It actually says in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13, and now abide faith, hope, and love, these three. So hope is in there, but the greatest of these is love, because love encompasses everything. But, but I, I particularly felt God speaking about hope, and particularly that if we... Um, enter into his presence if we stay there with him long enough um <laughs> it, it, that's what he desires just to, for us to be with him and lingering in his presence he fills us afresh with that hope for the future so it was it was a really wonderful time well you a song because i'd thought about playing to be in your presence and that's by Noel Richards all those years ago. To be in your presence, to sit at your feet. To be in your presence. To sit at your feet. Where your love surrounds me. And makes me complete. This is my desire, oh Lord. This is my desire. This is my desire. is my desire to rest in your presence not rushing away to cherish each moment here I would This is my desire, oh Lord, this is my 
Thank you for your Power, more of you in my life. 
I will seek your face with all of my heart. And I will seek your face with all of my mind. And I will seek your face with all of my strength. For you are my Lord.2 Timothy 1 7 says a spirit of fear but a spirit of power of love and a sound mind and the kingdom of God is righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Spirit so Holy Spirit we welcome you as our spirit of joy in the Holy Spirit we've got the kingdom of God is joy in the Holy Spirit haven't we and Holy Spirit we welcome you as a spirit of power and of love and a sound mind. And I love the fact that Paul, when he wrote that letter to Timothy, didn't say, as I think English people are wont to say, a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. He actually said a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. He put the power first. And I think there's a reason for that. I don't want to put 
thoughts in Paul's mind. But <laughs> actually, <clears throat> without God's power, I find that it's a challenge to love <clears throat> anybody. And yes. the power of God enables us to love in the fullness of what the Lord would want us to mm. love with mm. so that we're not just wringing our hands in sympathy at somebody's terrible situation but we can come to them and they can sense the full solid mm. if you like power mm. strength of God in the love that we're mm. showing and I think the sound mind bit well uh, it's um, translated in all sorts of ways really but I think it's really about getting it right from the Lord in where we are directing that power and directing yeah. that love. I was just thinking, there's an example for, from Corrie ten Boom's life, who, um, if you don't know about Corrie ten Boom, she and her sister were um, in a concentration camp in... Uh, Ravensbrück. Ra Ravensbrück mm. concentration camp, because they as a family had been hiding Jews and um that during was, the second world during the second world yeah. war in holland yeah that's a, you can read up about the story it's but, called the hiding place <clears throat> yeah called the hiding place mm. so when after she she was released from the from raven's book by a technical error <laughs> but actually <laughs> actually it was god would you believe before yeah. she left she had to sign a form saying that she'd had a great time in there <laughs> well, she hadn't suffered she hadn't suffered at know. all but Incredible. yeah anyway she she was released and um she then went around telling sharing the gospel with um with many people all around the world <clears throat> but one meeting she went into there there was um at the end of the meeting she'd she'd spoken about god's love and the, and shared the gospel in this large setting and people had come up to give their lives to christ and as she was standing there praying for people as they came to the front with obviously others there she could see this man walking towards her and she recognized him and he was one of the the guards in the concentration camp one of the ones that that she'd suffered humiliation and um as they they'd had to walk by them with no clothes on to go to showers and all sorts of horrible things that she'd suffered at his hand and she saw him coming forward and his face he was smiling and because he'd he'd found jesus and and he held out his hand to say thank you to her for her and and wasn't it wonderful about at God's love and uh, and inside there was this internal battle going on inside her but she because she felt nothing she felt no love for this man at all and um and yet she was been forced God had put her in this position <laughs> and um and she, all she could do was she just cried out to God and said said God please help me and this wonderful sense of god's love just poured poured over her and she held out as she held out his her hand to to take his hand and and say welcome into the kingdom wow and it was just she she had nothing herself mm. and it she knew the power then she said afterwards she knew the power of god's love because yeah. she had no love for this man in the natural mm, at all mm. and i just thought that was wonderful that she was able to to do that well god god does that as yeah. bob was saying it was just a wonderful example wow um well, well perhaps we ought to all for a moment maybe we we haven't been suffering in a that kind of situation but there are things that have gone on and toxic situations that maybe um we've been in Mm. that require us to reach out for God's love, mm. God's power, God's love, mm. um, to uh, the, power uh, of God's love. the power of God's love, to yeah. extend that, that, hand. that hand, that even if they're not here yeah. in front of us today. Yeah. Um, so let's for a moment think, mm. um, that, that think on about our lives. And Lord, we ask you to highlight anyone right mm. now mm. 
um, to us that we might uh, want to bless and welcome into your kingdom. Maybe they're not yet part of God's family and maybe we've not really particularly wanted them to be. And so now, Lord, we extend Mm. our hands and we ask you, fill us us. with your power. Power of your love. Fill us with the power Mm. of your love for these ones. Mm. Our Lord, Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy. We welcome. We welcome. We welcome. And we welcome. We say we welcome into the you family. into the family, into yeah. the kingdom, into God's kingdom. Amen. 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 Well, well, we're going to break bread in a moment and celebrate what Jesus has done for us on the cross and his resurrection and <clears throat> the life he's given. So you may want to um, get some appropriate um, drink and a cracker or some bread so that we can do that together. And um, as we join together now or later in the week, you may be watching this. And um, God bless you. Yeah, you just want... pause it as you go and get something. <laughs> well, we're going yeah. to sing um, You yes. Give Life. You Give Life. You are Love. Mm. You Give Hope. Yeah, so we pray for that hope and restoration. Mm. Yeah, any heart that is broken today. You give life, you are love, you give life to. Oops, start again. <laughs> oh no. It's a bit low, isn't it? I've just got mm. one, I think. Mm. That might really stretch our voices, but never mind. We'll have another go. <coughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Life to the dark. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. You give light, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. All the earth will shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. It's 
your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. All the earth will shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will sing, great are you. to the darkness you give hope <clears throat> restore every heart every heart that is broken and all so, the earth will shout your praise so let's bring our hearts to him today and we place them in his hands they're yes. in very good hands okay. to place our hearts in his hands the lover of our soul praise the lord praise Jesus. so we break bread today lord to remember what you have done on the cross we thank you for your giving of yourself for your mm. body that you set your face like flint and went towards jerusalem to give your life for the joy set before you you endured the cross mm. and we have become children of god through you and we are your joy your treasure in the field that you have found you came for we thank you good shepherd of our, us your sheep we praise you we magnify you so we break this bread together mm. to remember what you have done mm. and to declare that you have cut with us a new covenant mm. and here we are your people yes. and we share across the world and in the church heavenly and triumphant wherever we are we are partaking of you our lord Mm. Amen. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, so this is a Jesus said, This is my body broken for you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your body broken for us. And Jesus, we remember your blood shed for us, your blood that washes away our sins, your blood that cleanses, your blood that heals. Mm. We thank you that you died for us, that you shed your blood, poured out for us. We thank you, Jesus. His blood poured out for you. Blood of Jesus poured out for you. And we're so pleased that the Lord has given us His Spirit and we say um, to each one of you, be filled with the Holy Spirit of God today. Be filled, full of his goodness, full of his life, full of his life. Be filled. 
in Jesus' name. So God bless you. Thank you for the breath of the Holy Spirit just yeah. blowing, blowing now. Yeah. And igniting that fire within us. You have to blow to get the fire to light in the natural mm, fire. Mm. So we welcome the breath of the Spirit to blow yeah. and light the fire in our hearts so that we can go out with the fire of your love mm. burning. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Praise you, Jesus. So have a lovely week um, whenever, wherever you're uh, watching this. And it's been so good to worship together. And um, after the uh, the live Facebook time, as we have it now, um, or if you're watching this on the recording, but um, what we do then is that we have a, a Zoom platform time of sharing and prayer um, for 10, 15 minutes or so. So you might want to join us on the Zoom platform uh, with us next time. Next time. And uh, yes, that will be the 30th be of May. And uh, you're very welcome. <clears throat> the, um, the Zoom details are on the Facebook um, friends platform there, or you can email me uh, if you're watching on YouTube. It's bobbain at hotmail.co.uk, B-O-B-B-A-I-N at hotmail.co.uk. If you would like to join us, next Sunday on Bright River Chapel and uh, you're very welcome and uh, we are so encouraged by the different ones that do watch mm. and it's been such a, yeah. a, a pleasure um, to, to to share yeah. and, and the, thank you for the comments that you've made as well yes. it's always encouraging, it's always encouraging to have those to comments those, too yeah. so God bless you then yes. have a lovely week thank you for you joining are. us yes bye bye then yeah see you next time God bless